All right, this should be pretty fun. Now you heard I stink. I should give up guitar. Should I? I don't know. Let me think. Nah, I'm not gonna give up. So that's basically the topic of this whole video. I'm gonna go over four kind of key areas. I'm gonna spitball, but I need you to promise me you're gonna drop me some interactive comments because I'm sitting in this room alone and I would love some interaction. I've never done a video like this, but there's gonna be more of these. All right, so right here on the screen, before we jump ahead, I did a couple community polls and here's a screenshot of one of them. So on this very topic, and that's what gave me the idea for this is I was thinking, are guitar players too critical of one another, musicians, guitar players in particular, which I am one myself, and are we too critical of ourselves? And if you look at the statistics, now obviously it's a small sample size because I'm a new YouTube channel, I'm growing, I don't have a big reach yet, I'm working at it. So if you look, 73% said yes. 27% said no. So even though there's only 15 votes, that's still pretty telling to me, all right? So I will bookmark all these kind of key areas I'm gonna go over and then skip around if you want, but I wanna know your thoughts on each one, all right? And then number two, I did another poll and I thought on the thing about are we our own worst enemies? So I put basically, do you expect good things to happen? If you look at that poll right here, is a screenshot of that, 35 votes. And it was kind of sad. So only 66% of those 35 votes ha are people that expect good things to happen to them, right? 34% no. If you see me jumping all over, I have a lot of notes. I did my homework for you and I put on a nice shirt and my professor glasses. All right, so see notes, get yourself a tasty drink. So here are the first four categories. We're gonna have some fun with this and start a little discussion here, all right? So number one on the screen, competitive nature of music. Okay, I'm gonna give you the four and then we're gonna hop in, go a little more in depth with that. Number two, subjectivity in music. Subjectivity in music is a big one, all right? We're gonna have some fun with that. Number three, technical skill versus musical expression, right? Technical skill, the flashy skills. Musical expression, more of the deep mindset stuff, chord progressions, chord voicings, we'll get into that. And then we, we have to talk about the number one driving factor of all of this is social media, online presence, the state of music. I have discussions about this all the time. So you ready? All right, if you give me a thumbs down, <laughs> just tell me why, what you like, tell me what you like, what you don't like. You want me to do more of these? Cause I'm gonna do more of them. All right, so here we go. Okay, category one, competitive nature of music. Look, we're humans, we have egos. Now. Here's where it were. Here's, here's the bottom line to a lot of this. You can either function from healthy ego or unhealthy ego. All right? Now, in order to be competitive, we have to have some ego, right? But you want to function from good ego. So in the area of competitive nature, let's talk about, you know when you're like a young guitar player, a new guitar player, you're very much wowed by the technical skills of people, especially when I was younger, it was the speed thing. So I wanted to be, oh, I'm gonna be a lead guitar player because it's flashy, you know, to play lead solos and impress everyone with speed and technical prowess. So a lot of guitar players are very technical from that, right? So we talk about like, just look on the internet, right? The good old World Wide Web. Here on YouTube alone or Instagram clips, shorts, that fast zombie scrolling consumption that we do. I don't really partake in that a lot. I love the long forms like this one, but you see a lot of like the technical prowess. So a lot of those people are very competitive when it comes to that. Now it just depends on whether or not is that's your jam, all right? Also in the competitive nature is performance opportunities, right? So some of us are bedroom players and we're doing the YouTube channels or social media. Some of us aren't, which is totally cool. Some of us are out playing live shows. Some of us are playing festivals. Some of us are doing session work. It just depends on your kind of long-term goals or even short-term goals, all right? Now, another little area in competitive nature is recognition and validation. Of course, people wanna be recognized for what they do. So a lot of this is recognition from peers, from crowds that you play in front of. You know, you wanna feel good about yourself, but I think what we have to do is change our mindset and go into more of a, um, just approach it from a healthy manner, right? So if you're gonna be competitive, that's fine, but do it in a healthy manner, take a healthy approach to it. So for example, when you're a YouTuber, 
and or you're putting yourself out there like I am, look, I get 99.9% .9 of really good comments, right? Everyone's super positive, but you're going to get a few of those trolls on there. Now, I had one person in particular, which I was going to put a screenshot of that, but I didn't. I did a, a playlist on Open G, right? And there was a couple chords in there that were fairly dissonant, which to somebody good could be perceived as sounds awful. And that's exactly what they wrote, sounds awful. Now, what I did is I tried to engage in some discussion. Okay, hey there, Mr. Helper. Didn't know you wanted to get involved in the discussion. Why don't you tell me why that sounds awful? So I actually had a pretty good person. If you come at someone with kindness, you can usually win, right? I could have just hid them. I could have done a snarky comment back, but that's not my way. My whole goal of this channel is, yeah, I'm competitive too. I want to be the best. You really should be competitive against yourself. That's what this is about. But I came back at this person. We had kind of a nice discussion. And then, you know what's funny? A couple days ago, I got this comment from someone on another OpenG playlist. And it was the same two words, sounds awful. <laughs> so they're probably sitting on their keyboard, copy paste, sounds awful, sounds awful. And I just kind of laughed at this because I was like, aren't you the same individual that we actually, I came at you with a respectful kind of back at you and then we had an okay talk. We had a fine t discussion about it. And then they just came back. They probably forgot they even did that on, on, the, on the channel, which is fine. So you know why this happens? It's because people get triggered. They get triggered. Their own insecurities are triggered. They feel bad. You know, they don't know how to express themselves. And that's just not the way to do it. So that's not even fitting into this competitive box. This is almost a whole side component from that. They don't even know how to be competitive in a healthy manner, right? Even if it's against themselves, which is why I included that little poll about do you expect good things to happen to you, right? Because if you don't, you're going to be even more critical about yourself. And if you go on the internet and you look at all these great players and you're triggered, you're not going to get anywhere. So you are being your own worst enemy. So don't do that, all right? And some people on the competitive nature side of things, some people are going for musical achievements. They are going for these things. Now, I won't name names, but I have I grew up in Southern California, so I've been around people that have been in the business. And there's uh, there was someone in particular who has won Grammys, and you've all heard of this individual, but they were like super chill. They didn't even realize who they were. So I thought that was super cool to meet someone at that level and just for them they don't they don't have any insecure they do but they don't let them manifest and and project those onto other individuals all right so again musical achievements could just be something as simple as you're trying to play a musical piece and you pull it off it could be your band's trying to get to a certain level you're trying to get to a certain level for me my goal on here, number one, is to help as many of you be supportive and push each other up to greatness as possible, all right? And I would like to earn a silver play button, not because I'm like, oh, look at my silver, but mainly I'm setting a competitive goal for myself. So do that. Don't, don't take your level of competitive, competitiveness and project it in a negative way onto others, especially musicians, because... All of us are on different paths, different journeys, and we are the only ones that can stop ourselves, which is why is my tagline of, at the end of every video, only you can stop you. Don't stop yourself, all right? And then also the competitive thing is sometimes it's professional opportunities. So like kind of the landscape of the music industry. If you're in Nashville, you want to be this type of session player. If you're in Los Angeles, you want to do this. Now, the industry has changed massively, and so... You know, networking, self-promotion, you know, the reason there's a lot of us YouTubers doing this, if you're watching this and you're not doing it, is mainly it's just an outlet for us to be creative and we don't have to rely on anyone else but ourselves, which is kind of refreshing, all right? So let's go on to the next category, but drop me some comments. You agree with some of my stuff, you disagree, you know, throw in some ideas, expand on what I did in the competitive nature realm. All right, let's go on to phase two of this, which is subjectivity in music. Here we go. All right, we're back. Subjectivity in music. All right, this one is very broad, right? So let's just kind of spitball a few components or key points of subjectivity in music, right? And that is really what can cause us to fall into a, a mindset of being judgmental. Look, 
again, we're all human, right? We have certain sets of emotions. Again, I'm always gonna push this back as you have to learn how to function from a healthy standpoint as opposed to an unhealthy one, all right? So personal tastes in music, right? So a lot of people will see what someone's doing and they personally just don't like what that person's doing musically. So what they're going to do is just come at them with, with some negativity, right? Some judgment, being critical, right? And you really shouldn't do that. Like appreciate all the differences. This could be, some of us have different cultural backgrounds. So obviously we've been raised around different kinds of music, different genres, different upbringings. We, we're, you know, we, the stuff we heard from our, that our parents played that we were subjected to, that definitely starts to build the core of our musical being, right? Um, emotional response to music, right? So music to me is all about evoking emotion. That's what makes it exciting for me personally. So why don't you tell me what makes it cool for you? But that too, um, you might not understand why like one song brings someone to tears. You might think that song or that piece of music is lame. <laughs> instead of kind of trying to take a step back and see it from their viewpoint and see what you can appreciate about it. I I know, I remember, I've done it. I used to rip on Creed, you know, all those bands, but look, a lot of people like their stuff. It's not for me. No offense to Creed, if you're watching. <laughs> but again, I try to take a step back and see things that I do appreciate and I can have respect for it. At the end of the day, we're all musicians and we should push each other up, raise each other up. All right. Um, musical context, like the context that music is experienced in. I really think of like concerts, right? That's what's so cool about music and so powerful is how it takes us back to where we were in that moment. And again, how I'm tying this into the critical part and judgment part is that you might not get that person's emotional experience the way that they did. And that's okay. That's what makes music cool. It's not vanilla. There's many different flavors and I think we should respect them all, but it doesn't mean we have to like them all, okay? And again, the whole point of this is just to, as a, as a community as a whole, that we need to support each other and like look up to each other, no matter the person's skill level. All right, artistic intent versus audience perception. Again, so a lot of times as a composer or a writer or a creator or producer of music, you have a certain set of intentions with that music and it doesn't always come across your audience doesn't think about like when you write a song and you think you wrote the greatest song in the world and some people hear it and they're just like yeah whatever <laughs> yeah that can hurt but don't let that turn don't let that hurt your musical ego let that turn that into something positive and something you can grow from again i'm not going to call that failure everything is growth but remember how you got to fall down and get up fall down and get up like you're not going to succeed from the get-go you got to learn love to learn that journey um, critical evaluation of music fits in the subjectivity category. So, um, you know, remember all the critics that, <laughs> I think it was really funny to a lot of music critics. They come from a critical standpoint and that's their job, but I don't really think they know the whole background and they don't understand the whole journey of all the dynamics that goes into making a record or writing a song, whether it be the persons in the dynamic of a band, that's more than one. That's more than one ego in the room. That's a lot. So that's a whole different thing. It's like being in a marriage, right? It's a partnership. Um, or just someone who's a bedroom player or a solo artist. So I think critics are cool. But again, remember the uh, constructive criticism. So that's fine. So if you're going to send someone some criticism, try and make it constructive. See the good first, then give them like, hey, I think you can improve here. But try and have some knowledge in the area that you're speaking of, all right? Um, personal expression and identity. So obviously every musician is coming from a personal place of expression. So instead of judging that or getting critical of that, take a step back, soak it in, right? And then go ahead and speak your mind in that. But again, try and come from a positive place. Even if it's something you don't understand, like there's some songs like I just don't get it, but I'm now, I've played long enough and I just want to respect musicians as musicians. Make like, okay, cool. If that makes them happy, that's all that matters, right? Technical skill versus musical expression. Again, a lot of these are gonna cross pollinate, but let me see if I can tell you what I'm thinking here. So technical skill, that's all like the flash stuff that, that impresses, right? So a lot of people are gonna, that's surface level stuff. Again, I would rather write a great song that everybody remembers for years and years 
as opposed to some shredding solo that lights up the room you know, in a temporary moment of time. So precision and accuracy, people obviously get judged on that. And that's really where the social media and the online presence really ties into because a lot of this stuff is a lot of technical prowess and that looks very impressive to some. So, and, and we're all, and a lot of people get judged on that. So everybody, ha we're all, everybody has an opinion, especially if you go into a lot of the online forums, just go in and read those and it's easy for people to sit on their keyboard and just type negative stuff that they would never say to your face or they couldn't hold in some kind of uh, like highly uh, thought-provoking discussion. They just couldn't do it. So speed and dexterity. So a lot of guitar players, you know, again, the speed thing. When we're younger guitar players, we're impressed by speed. But as you, as you mature, you get more impressed with where people know how to leave space, where not to play you know, less notes, how to create stronger melodies, not just filling up every ounce of space. Uh, knowledge of theory and technique. Now, I have to be really careful on here when I do the tutorial videos and I make those chord charts. That's one thing I'm loving about doing this YouTube thing is I'm still a student of music, as are you, and you always will be. You're never going to know it all. So somebody's always going to be stronger in certain areas than you are, and that's okay, but... Growth is the the number one word you want to look at is growth. So don't let your don't let your judgment of others or your critic being critical of others stunt your own growth. Just don't do that. All right. So uh, theory theory is a big one. A lot of players don't know theory, and that's fine. But obviously, if I'm going to deliver you some kind of lesson, I have to really do my homework because I don't want to deliver it in the wrong way. And guess what? If I do, which inevitably something will happen, then tell me, I'll own it, that's it. So if you're going to come at someone with uh, something that you don't agree with, remember the, you can, it's, we can agree to disagree, that thing is all seems to be out the window in this world, everyone's like hurling arrows at each other, we don't need to do that, we need to stop that, all right? Especially as musicians, music is one of the hardest things in the world, you have to earn it. It's a language, there's a technical part, the theoretical aspect, and then applying the theoret theoretical aspect. And it's just like deeper than the ocean, but that's what makes it cool. So let's have a little empathy for each other. Um, in, the, in the technical side, right? Ver so phrasing and dynamics. So this is all just the technical aspect. Now, the musical part of it, this part is super cool. The musical expression part. Now that I think of more as the chord progressions you choose, not writing the same stale progressions. And this is one of the problems, in my opinion, with music, is there's no strive for greatness, striving for greatness now. It's like kind of kicking out that can stuff. You know, you want to explore outside the, the normal framework, right? There's, there's no rule, there's rules, but there's no rules in music. Like, think about like somebody that plays an insanely beautiful chord progression and they choose just the right melody, that honestly is going to elicit way deeper of an emotional response than somebody who does something technical that f impresses you in a short period of time, right? I, t I think of musical expression as like long-term memory that leaves a lasting impact on someone. I think of the technical prowess stuff. That's more of the, oh, flash in the eye, flat, you know, impresses you in the moment on the spot. So try, if you are kind of in that camp right now where you, in, in most of the stuff on the, uh, out there is like the technical stuff, right? Super fast, you know, crazy stuff like that. But try and take a moment and grow musically and have some appreciation for those that do things that are outside the box. Because we only have so much bandwidth and many of us are going to choose to put that bandwidth toward, towards different areas or domains in music. And it's all great. All of it. So don't get critical and judgmental and pigeonhole yourself into one area. Try and look at all of it and appreciate it all. And I promise you, you'll grow as a musician. You'll get better as a musician. And you'll appreciate music. You won't, you won't judge yourself as much. All right? So that, and then think about songwriting. Songwriting goes into musical expression, right? Because writing a song is a whole nother like thing you have to learn. Or what if you're playing on somebody's song? So here's one thing I think is going to be one of the most important things I'm going to say in this video. And this is something I live by, right? You have to adopt the mindset of everything 
has to be for the good of the project or the song or the musical piece. So you have to put your ego aside and you only need to contribute what makes that little world great. So if I were in a band and we had a hundred songs and every song moved people emotionally and I didn't have a guitar solo in the song, or even if I played the minimalistic parts in every song, I'm happy. I've done my job. That to me is what a great musician is. You agree with that? That is what an amazing musician is, all right? So that right there, just adopting that mindset is gonna make you approach things in a less critical way. And be, you'll be less critical of yourself. Give yourself some credit, all right? And then um, the integration of the skill and expression, right? So you again, music is so deep. So give, your, give yourself some empathy here. Like, don't be so critical on yourself either. You're learning a lot. Like, again, the language of music, the theory side, the technical side, all right? And then another thing too, I'll kind of push it into this little third category is don't judge people like on their instruments, right? Like Paul Reed Smith stinks, Fender stinks, Gibson stinks, whatever. Like these are all just tools to make music. So if somebody wants to play on a $200 beater guitar that you've never heard of, if it makes them happy, then you should be happy for them. And you know what? Maybe take a step back. Don't be critical. Watch what they do. Just be quiet. Just observe and soak in what they're doing and try and find a positive angle and think to yourself, how can I incorporate that into what I'm doing? You'll be a better musician. You'll be, you'll be going more into that realm of healthy ego. All right, so that's enough on that. Again, drop your comments. These are all, these chapters are all bookmarked, so feel free to jump around. Again, we could go on for days about this, but just be cool to one another. All right, so let's wrap it up with the fourth one and we will move on and wrap it up after that. Here we go. All right, so we obviously have to talk about this last category, social media, online forums. That is basically in everything, right? So YouTube, we have Insta, we have all, everything is at our finger trips, fingertip. All right, so this last category, we have to talk about this because this is the world we live in, social media, online, right? You're watching a YouTube video right now. I'm just some dude that wants to help you all get better at music, try and make the world a better place doing that. Let's just use these worlds of social media if we can kind of come together as musicians, as people, and make it better for everyone. That's what we got to do, all right? So... I could go deep on this subject, but if you think about it, the next time you watch someone's YouTube video or you watch someone's video, try and give them like something positive about it, right? So drop them a nice comment. They're putting themselves out there and a lot of them are like kind of at the beginner level, at the intermediate level. If you want to start a YouTube channel, don't be afraid. Like it's okay, like grow a thick skin. Be confident in yourself and give yourself some empathy. Give yourself some credit. You know, you'd be surprised how many people you reach, how many new people you meet, you know, that you meet online. And so for me, one of my favorite things about doing this with you guys is the comments I get and the interaction. And I'm just really glad that for now I can keep up and respond to every single one of you because I want to help every single one of you that I can. You know, the next time you go into a forum, maybe it's about gear Drop someone a positive comment. I mean, in the gear forums, they're pretty brutal. I see people get really judgmental and critical of it in there, and there's just no reason to. Look, if it makes somebody happy, let him do it, right? Some people are using this. Obviously, we don't sell records from the trunks of our car anymore. The world has changed, and I'm just as confused to be about, about music as you are. I don't know where this is going. We've got this AI stuff, so I think we have to come together as a whole and my goal, I would love to create more musicians that go in the garage and play music and like rock out and just just feel what I felt when I was in my band and I got to tour and do all that. It's the most amazing thing in the world. Maybe you want to use the online world to teach people like I'm doing here. I want to teach you as much as I can. Um, all of these are just educational resources. Think of it as we're creating little digital catalogs of content. And I hate using the word content to describe music, but you know what I mean? Just like a digital library of stuff to help people. Let's not create digital libraries that judge people, but help people, all right? So the next time you're gonna like go on 
uh, somebody's social media site or somewhere and like thumbs down, like don't do that. Like just drop them a comment, you know, try and give them like have a engage in a good, good discussion with them. All right. Most people will be cool and they'll appreciate that. Um, number one thing like this channel is about building community, right? So my whole goal in this channel, if you're new, would love to keep you is to to, to build a community where we all support each other, we have empathy for each other, we help each other, not come in here and tear each other down, right? So if you're, if you're one of those people tearing someone down, you gotta look at yourself, look at yourself in the mirror. There's something desperately wrong with you inside that you have to fix, all right? So again, that's hopefully what we're gonna do on here to kind of just kind of encompass the whole social media thing. You guys get it, but draw me some comments on here too, like, what are your thoughts on social media? Where do you see it going? What would you like to see it doing? Like, I've rolled back to doing all long form videos. I'll still do a few shorts here and there, but I don't really want to contribute to that zombie scrolling world that we live in. So when I first started the channel, I was doing shorts like a madman because I needed to reach people. I don't even watch shorts. Like, I love these long form videos. I hope this is what it rolls back to and that we can grow our musical community. We can connect with others in different communities. I don't know. We'll see where we can take this. All right, so let's wrap this up. We'll get you on your way. Again, I need your comments. I need discussion. Share this and then drop me some ideas for other videos I can do, these little talking head videos. All right, so let's wrap this. All right, so if you're new here, like I said, if you want to be a part of the community, I'm going to build this where we're all supportive, positive of each other. We're all different skill levels. We're all students in music. We're all trying to go as far as we can in music. So what we need to do is embrace diversity. We need to cultivate empathy, not only for ourselves, but for everyone else, all right? So that's goal number one. Um, focus on growth and improvement. Again, we're all at different levels. We don't need to be judging each other, right? Everyone is in music for a different reason, but in the end, we're all musicians, so we gotta stick together. So that that's the whole promoting positivity, all right? It, it, if, if you're gonna come at anyone on here with without with not being positive, boop, we just don't need that, all right? You don't need that. Just don't do that to yourself. So like lead by example. I love it in this community too when someone drops like a positive comment or somebody helps someone else out. That makes it worth it right there, that one comment for me doing this whole channel, all right? So encourage collaboration. If you're on here, let's get some of you guys networking with each other, right? Helping, I'd love for you guys to create some projects and share them on the channels it grows because I'm gonna take this as far as I can, all right? So promote healthy competition, right? There's, again, function from healthy ego, not unhealthy ego. Listen, the sooner you learn to function from healthy ego, the further you'll go, okay? Look, the world's competitive. Yes, you have to hustle, you have to out-hustle, you have to outwork but you can do it without crushing people's feelings and being self-destructive to yourself, all right? So again, come at people with constructive criticism. So I don't even really like the word criticism anymore. Just come at people with, with uh, information that you can deliver in a positive way that will help them, all right? Um, and then again, just ed educate yourself, okay? Keep growing as a musician, keep going. And I know I spitballed a lot here, so jump around these chapters, watch this again, drop me your thoughts. Anything you wanna tell me, tell me, all right? Again, I'll tell you, if there's something you like, tell me. If there's something you don't like, tell me. That's all I ask. And be nice to yourself, all right? Music has to be three letters, F-U-N, fun. If you're not having fun in life in general, you shouldn't do any of it. Make it fun, all right? Music is, probably the most fun thing you can do on planet earth, my opinion. All right, so remember what I say, only you can stop you, so you're gonna keep going, you're not gonna stop. You know the drill, links in the description. Would love for you to check out the newsletter, that's growing fast, having a blast writing that for you. Here's some videos for you to check out, some playlists, some educational stuff. Drop me some good positive comments on there, all right? Or if you have something you don't like, tell me why in a positive way. All right, I got you guys, see you in the next video, peace.